Hey, it's Tracy at Worlds and Swirls Quilting. Um, before I stitch today's design, I just wanted to let you know that the van is packed as far as I can get the van packed with stuff. Um, no machines yet. That's on Wednesday. Um, but this morning is uh, move in everything I can lift. So I'm really excited. And when I get there, I will post a video of the space. And I'm just beyond excited and I can't wait. So here's today's design of the day. It's a feather variation. And it's just a curl with like a flick at the top, but instead of um, coming in, look at me, I went outside my lines. I'm too wound up actually about getting stuff moved in. So we're going to curl around, pop that up and come back down. Curl around, pop back up and come down. Around, pop and in. Now I did this one with a spine, but this actually looks really cool as um, one of my spineless designs as well, and I'll show you that in a sec. I have no idea what that is. Here, let's just come down here. Okay, so here's our space here. And we're going to build this out like we do with the other spineless sashing designs. So we're going to come out, curl, and in, out, into the center, in, into the center, curl, up, to the middle of that one. I'm not even staying in my lines. It's okay. I just want you to see and get the idea. Nothing wrong with coloring outside the lines. Curl, pop that up, in. Curl, up, and over. So again, the trick with um, any of my spineless designs is that when you come in, you come to the center of the last one that you did. Up, down, in, up, down. Curl, up, pop that in, pop that in, and then I would just disappear into my seam line. So I hope you like it. That's today's design of the day. Make sure you take the time to doodle. I'll pull you along here so you can see this one. So you can do it in any direction. I like this one. Have a great day everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.